everyone my name is Kaushik and welcome back to let code in our previous video we have learned how to get the selected element from our element panel in our site panel using this set expression so if I go to my devtools.js file here we can see that we are listening to the changes whatever the changes are there in my DOM element panel we are listening to that and then based on that we are using this dollar zero that represent the selected element whatever the selected element we are getting from our DOM we are using this attributes to print those now this is going to happen based on the selection change if I show you that so if I go to this and right click and click on get X path and here we can see that in our console we are able to get some of the X path right so here it going to be give us like ID is unique and attribute based X path and the last one we are also getting this text X path but this is not relevant here because we are trying to get the text from input field so that's not going to work so this actually bug here so let us fix this if I go to my text based X path this particular file here we can see that without checking any of the condition we are directly taking the element tag name and then we are taking the text content but before taking the text content we have to make sure that the value is there in the element so here we are going to write a if condition and here I will say element dot text content should not be equal to this value this means uh, the empty value right so if there is no empty value then we will make we can make sure that we have some text content so if the text content is there then probably we can generate this x path right so let us check this so if i go to my browser and if i refresh this and then of course i have to refresh my page and here i'm going to clear this and then right click and click on get x path so it's going to debug so let me just pause this and here you can see we are able to get only two x path as of now so one is the id and another one is the x path based on the placeholder so now we have fixed the existing problem today we are going to learn how to generate the x path so already we have built this content.js where we have some of the uh, few of the x path patterns where we are building based on the ids as well as the text so we are going to reuse this function in our dev tools so here we can see that we are getting this set expression where we are getting this dollar zero so this is the actual value that is going to represent the element for example if i open this let text path sidebar panel here you can see once i click on this 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 particular place is going to show me the selected node right node in the sense element so we are going to use this we are going to use this dollar zero and we are going to pass this to our content.js so to we are going to build the communication between the dev tools and the content.js so dev tools is nothing but this area this area is known as dev tools whereas the file which is going to generate the x path in this particular place that is going to be a content script so to view the source code here we can select on the source tab and then we can click on this arrow and we can select this content script so here we can see we are able to get our like text path and if i open this i mean expand this within the app and src folder here we can see this files right so this is how we have to check any of the extension source code uh, this is just for debugging purpose respect others work don't just go and check others code that's not a good practice so moving forward we are going to call this pass term function because this function is ultimately giving us all the xpath patterns right so somehow we have to call this pass dom function in our devtools.js now if you are from java background you might think that we have to create object and then we have to call the method or the functions like that right but nothing like that so here we have very plain syntax we have to just call the uh, content script here right yes so this is the actual syntax so let me copy here and paste over here and here you can see this selected element right so this is the actual function which is going to work but instead of this we have this function called parse dom right so i'm going to pick this select this and paste over here so that's it 
now here you can see that in this particular function pass term this is passing this dollar zero as a argument so of course we have to receive over there right so if i go here and here i can say that uh, let me just copy this value and paste over here so that will be very easier for under for us to work right so here we have this target element and that is going to take the tag name and everything so don't worry i will tell you this this thing okay A refresh and let me close it up and refresh and then i can just inspect this and of course we are able to get this and it's taking us to the debug which we don't want so i can remove all the debug points here and i can hit enter now if i go back to this element and if i click on this x let x path panel here you can see we are not able to get any of the selected element the reason is we have not written any code to show that so probably we will see that in the next video as of now we can inspect this so if i do right click here actually i am doing but you are not able to see because uh, we cannot do the right click on a empty panel so what we can do is we can undock this so not this one so we have to click here and we can dock this so we can dock outside and then click on any of the element inside this click anywhere and again type control shift i so that's going to bring up another uh, dev console right so here we have two consoles now if i go to this source and again here we have to select this pages and if i go to this devtools.html within this this is our extension id and here we can see within this we are able to get the devtools.js file right so i'm just going to maximize this and here if i just click on this um, debug point if i set a debug point here and also i'm going to set a debug point within this source code so if i go here this is the function we are calling actually right so i'm going to set a debug point here as well now let us see what happens when i click on some of the elements so i'm just going to click on this maybe this input and here you can see the dev tools has received this debugging point right so here i'm just going to click on step in so that we can see actually what happens so this is going to take long so i'm just going to click on this resume button and here you can see we are able to get the message from the dev tools and in this particular content script we are able to get this right so if here you can see content.js right now if i mouse over you can see that this is giving us this tag name and the target element is actually our uh, the selected value so i can just right click and click on this evaluated selected text in the console and this is going to give us this so if i maximize this i mean minimize this here you can see it's going to highlight the selected value so if i mouse over on this in the main page right so in this page you can see that we are able to get the highlight that means of course we have got our selected element now i'm just going to run this and here you can see we are able to get two arrays basically we are able to get the two x path here right now let me show you one once again so you will get a clear idea about this so i'm just going to click any of the input field now it should go to the dev tools first and then from there it should receive the message in the content script now content script is going to execute this and it is going to give us the x path here right so this is how we have to do the debugging between the dev tools and the content script okay please remember you can see any of the extension source code within this place uh, but don't do that if you are going to debug something then do it okay so uh, i think that's it pretty much enough for this particular video so let me just quickly recap then we can wind up and in the next tutorial we'll see how to get the xpath from the content script and send it back to the dev tools so that we can build up some of the ui components right so let me quickly recap so here we are using this dev tools dot panels dot elements dot on selection change and it is a event listener so whenever there is a changes in the dom element panel it is going to listen for that and once we listen we have to pass this i mean we have to inspect that using this eval function and here we have to pass our actual method or the function that is available in my content script and make sure you are using this use content script context or else it is not going to work for sure okay so this particular terms means that we are 
asking our dev tools to get the method from the content script that's it very simple right and in this content script we didn't change much we only added this uh, target element as a argument so that uh, whatever the value we are getting from the dev tools that can be set here right but there's already also a problem because we are using also the context menu where we are calling the same parse dom right and of course this method is same so of course we have to pass any argument to this so i'm just going to pass this here so both are technically same so whatever the value we are going to pass i mean we are going to get we are passing that value here as well okay so the problem is solved so i hope you have enjoyed the video and you have learned the communication between the dev tools and the content script and also how to do the debugging i know this is very basic in debugging i will uh, make a separate video on how to do the debugging like finding each and every nodes and finding each and every x path or building or evaluating those x path okay so stay tuned and also i have released uh, not released so i have also given the first preview video so kindly do check that and if you have any suggestion kindly do let me know so while releasing the product of course uh, it can be like more user friendly so of course i need your help to get the inputs thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon